Tide Bunker? Why do you all suffer and, and struggle so much with it? In fact, why do I see so many golfers hit the ground so far behind the ball? If you were on the grass and you hit it fat, you'd hit it a couple of inches behind the golf ball. You get in a bunker and I see six, seven, eight inches behind. It's, like, it's incredible. So let's have a look at what we need to do really to get success from a greenside bunker. Number one, check out the lie. This one is lying perfectly. Um, let's look at the really troublesome ones in a different video, but we've got a really, really good lie. Um, we've got a shot which is about 10 or 15 yards, quite a high lip, as you can see from behind there. So what happens that I see loads of is a combination of two things. One, loads and loads of people getting into this open stance scenario. Um, ball, middle of the stance, which then moves back in the stance. And then a lot of people don't even bother to use the bounce. Again, like the chipping, the bounce. They get forward, and then from this point here, make a back swing, and then boom. Hit it all the way back there. Body's leaning back, quit. Don't even keep the club moving through. Right, enough of that. We're not doing that anymore. What we are gonna do is we're gonna start off parallel to the target, square. Square leading edge, and then just ease the edge on a slight angle. Slight angle. From here, Widen the stance. The wider we go, the lower we get. We want to get sand that's underneath the golf ball. Let's get lower. Little wriggle of the feet in. Stabilize. More knee flex. Then from here, if I create an angle in my wrist, as you can see from there, so it's lifting the club head up off the ground, it points the loft back to the target. So I'm just going to hit the ball where I want it to go. So even though I've got an open face, I'm going to point the loft back to target. So creating that angle in the wrist, that way, that way, pressure onto the left side. For me, lead side, if you're not uh, a right-handed golfer. So keeping leaning towards the target keeping the angle in the wrists. I'm gonna make a backswing, which is with my arms. I'm not turning. I'm making a backswing with my arms, lifting the club into this position. So wrists moving. And then I'm gonna get my trail hand and I'm gonna get the feeling that I throw the club head into the sand. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it into the sand. Yeah, so the club head is gonna quickly overtake this hand as I do it. So, there, throw, and I'm gonna throw it into the sand, I'm just gonna keep going, and I'm gonna be up here in the finish. And out it comes. Goes down to target, it's almost gone in. So we can see the sand is taken, the balls come out nice and high. We've got success. Didn't hit the ground back here. To stop doing that, you're gonna need a drill. I know what you're gonna say, but I haven't got a practice bunker. Well, there are some facilities that have practice bunkers. If not, just when you're on the golf course, just go out. No one's behind you. If it's quiet, a couple of minutes in the bunker isn't gonna hurt. It's gonna help. What we need, one bunker, one rake. Get the handle. Draw a line in the sand. <clears throat> Take your wedge, set yourself up, and you wanna hit the sand over here, not back here. This exercise is all about getting good at consistently hitting 
the sand in a particular point, a point that you choose from your setup. Set up as we just have. Making a swing, hitting forward of the line. And we keep going. And you can see every time we can see where my impact point works. The first one, little bit behind. All the others, forward. The line is still there. Let's keep going. Line's pretty much intact. That means, I think that means I'm not too bad at that bit. It seems that that outcome is created from that process. So if we can get good at the process, then the outcome will take care of itself. You'll get good at the outcome, but all you've got to do is make sure that you get good at hitting the ground, the sand, in a certain spot. Practice the drill, it will help you when you're then in a situation where you've got to play that green side bunker shot. You'll have more success. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you like the rest of it. Um, any ideas, post them in the comments box below. See you next time.